Hello everybody, Pastor Randy here. Welcome to Making It Simple. Great to be with you today on a beautiful Tuesday. We're going to kick off a brand new teaching series. We just finished up Religion versus Relationship uh, yesterday. Hope that was a blessing to you. So we're going to, I was studying and thinking, okay, where, where do we go next? This verse has been kind of rolling through my mind uh, for a while and uh, it really seemed appropriate today. So we're going to we're going to take 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 through 5 and we're going to dive into a lesson that I want to call five things to watch for. Now this is going to take a while, okay? Because we're going to look at several different components of life and the things that we need to be mindful of because indeed we live in a world of watchers. We watch TV, we watch traffic, we watch birds, but do we watch what we do? Do we, do we watch and are we mindful of how that affects those around us? Do we consider the impact of our life? Now, one may say, well, pastor, I'm nobody. I say that about myself all the time. However, my words reach thousands of people sometime. Uh, certainly hundreds, you know, over the course of a weekend, uh, you know, ministering to people. But even greater, even greater, and that because that, that that could that could be taken the wrong way. That could sound arrogant, you know. Well, you're a public figure. What? No, no, no. It's got nothing to do with that. My words affect my family. My words affect those who know me. Maybe those who don't know me. A stranger that's standing behind me in a checkout line that hears how I interact with the cashier. The table next to me that hears how I interact with the young man or young lady that brings the food to my table. Our words matter. Our actions matter. We are in a world of watchers. Are we mindful, though, that while we watch a lot of things, we're also being watched. Now, I know that sounds like big brother creepy type stuff, but that's what I'm talking about. God has his eyes on us and not not in a uh, I'm waiting to get you kind of way. But are you doing what I ask you to do? This is based on this scripture. Um, I want to read it to you in just a moment so you'll get the context of where we're going because over the next several weeks, I, I want to examine again is these five specific things, these parts of our life. And I want us to really, really, truly look deeper at where we are and how we can make that better. You know, keeping it simple, making it simple has been uh, uh, a part of my heart now for a long time. I love doing this. It's a daily practice now almost where we, we get together at least four or five days a week and we and we discuss these things. Uh, we're going to look at, in specific, in particular, we're going to look at our will. Are we stubborn or are we open to learn? We're going to look at our ways. Is it my way or no way? We're going to look at our words. What do we say? And what is the heart behind those words. We're going to look at our work, not our specific job. It goes beyond what I do, but rather how it is seen. See, it's not about the title or the position. It's about the attitude behind it. And lastly, we're going to look at our walk. Do we live out our faith? You see, friends, we're, we're living in a very chaotic time without a question, okay? We, I, I thought about this this morning as I was preparing. We, we're hearing all these promises, all these promises, especially between now and November. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But nobody stops to realize, okay, these, these people saying this stuff are being watched. We're watching them, whether it's on television or, or, or some type of internet thing. Uh, certainly, we're getting the ads in our mailbox every day. So, so they're being seen. But nobody's stopping to realize every single one of those promises that are being made are conditional on your vote. In other words, I only mean it until I get your vote. And then maybe I will or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll have an excuse as to why I couldn't. Or why. And we could go on and on down the political road. But nobody's asking that question. 
Nobody's thinking about that. Everything is conditional as it pertains to the things of the world. God has given us the promise of eternal life, and he already paid the price for it. We just have to accept it. So in other words, God doesn't need your vote. He just wants your heart. When we surrender that heart to him, how we live that out, how others see that is important. So that's what this study is going to be about. Five things to watch for. It's going to be a great time because we're going to be talking about the things that we do every day. As is seen through the light of these scriptures, in particular, 2 Timothy 4. I want to share this with you now as we as we take our uh, our time away now after this message today, and then we'll come back tomorrow and start the start the study. And I want to leave you with this. This is Second Timothy chapter four, beginning in verse one. I can't impress this on you too strongly. So, in other words, the writer here is saying, "You, I, I can't tell you how important this message is that I'm about to give you." God is looking over your shoulder. Just what we were just talking about. God is watching, right? God is watching. Christ himself is the judge. He is the one appointed in that position. He has the final say on everyone, living and dead. One of the disturbing things that I see that is a growing trend in this internet community, especially within platforms like this, where all these different people making videos... Now, again, I never proclaim to be any type of expert, all right, any type of theologian or scholar or whatever. I, I don't, all right. I've done a lot of study. But my ministry has been more practical application, all right. I've got the formal degrees. I've got all that stuff. But mine is life. That is why we call this making it simple, all right. And you're going to see why, because this is what the Scripture is telling us here. But one of the disturbing trends is all of these people determining who is right with God and who is not? There's this one particular guy, and again, I don't want to call names, but he, he makes videos at least once a week or more, got his hat on backwards, and he's got all this um, expertise about all the people that are wrong. But let me read that part again. Christ himself is the judge with the final say on everyone living and dead. So that guy with his hat on backwards or the other guys with, you know, all of their great theological knowledge, they don't get to make that decision. There was one, there was one very well-known, probably revered speaker, pastor, whatever, recently that said, if you don't go to my church and you don't believe the way that I believe, you can't be saved. According to this, that's not true. We need to be very, very mindful of what we're watching, who we're watching, what we're listening to. All right, it goes on. Speaking of Christ, he is about to break into the open with his rule. So, so he's speaking to the one receiving this letter about the assignment that we've been given. That is why we're going to do this study now over the next several weeks, all right, because this is important, all right? So warn and urge your people, don't ever quit. And I love this part, just keep it simple. The beauty of the simplicity of scripture. There's the message right there. Just keep it simple. And he goes on. You're going to find that there will be times when people will have no stomach for solid teaching. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true but rather they will fill up on spiritual junk food, catchy options that tickle their fancy. Some versions say tickle their ears, that they don't want sound teaching. They don't want to hear the truth. In fact, Timothy goes on, they'll turn their backs on the truth and chase mirages. What's a mirage? Something that looks good, but it's not real. That's the age that we're living on. But he goes on, he says, but you... Keep your eye, keep a watch on what you're doing. That's what we're calling this, this study. Accept the hard times along with the good, because they're both going to come. Jesus said, in this life, you will have tribulation. Timothy goes on, keep the message alive 
and do a thorough job as God's servant. That's going to be our study. I can't wait. This is going to be a great time to be together over the next several weeks. Tell somebody about making it simple. All of these are housed right here on this YouTube channel and other platforms, Facebook and what have you. It's not hard to find. I, I try to take a little time each and every day to explain why we do this. Just as Timothy wrote in this letter, keep it simple. Because that is what people understand, not because of an intelligence level, but because that is relatable. And when we have something relatable, then we're willing to listen. God bless you, friends. This is going to be a great new study. I look forward to bringing it to you starting tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day.